So this is uh, garden part two. So here's the pile of shit that I was ripping out. Here's the Brussels sprouts. Here's the slicing cukes. I don't know who doesn't slice their cucumbers. More slicing cukes. Um, dill. Yay. Excellent yay. Um, eggplants, which honestly I mixed with. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like them as much. Uh, cilantro. <sighs> um, bell pepper. Excellent. All right. Tomato. What? Big bead? Well, I don't know what that means. I guess that's the type of tomato. Man, I, I feel dumb right now. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Hot pepper. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, more hot peppers. Sorry. Ooh, poblano. Nice. And zucchini. Oh, by the way, I do leave certain things in the garden, like weeds or anything, until it becomes an issue. I imagine you don't want to immediately just make it easy, easy for your garden. So you adapt it a little bit and give it a little bit of a challenge. Obviously, you must rip stuff out. I'm not saying you don't do that. And I watered it a ton. It's just really dry. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, right. Just so you know. I don't know if I forgot or why I'm showing you again. But yeah, this is mostly uh, from yesterday, actually. So, all right. I don't know if any of you, if you guys grow your garden with a little bit of um, mixed life until you rip it out once it gets out of hand just to strengthen your garden. But it's a possible attempt. And I'm not... I'm not going to be risky and just leave everything here. All right. See ya.